Hey guys, in this exciting video, I'll be showing you how to embed images in a markdown file. And this is quite straightforward. Okay, so I have a folder here that has a readme file inside. The, the readme file is a markdown file. And then I also have an image right next to it. It's in the same directory. And for the sake of those wondering, what of if you put the image in uh, a subdirectory or something like how would you do it so I have an image here so I would show you how to do both of them so first thing I want to do is open up my readme file and the syntax to add an image is very straightforward very simple you can always find these things online if you google them you will find them online so the first thing you want to do is to start with an exclamation mark and then square brackets so within the square brackets you put in the in the, the name of the image so in this case um, i can decide to call it server room all right and then just outside of the square brackets you open up parentheses and then you add the file name or the file path to that image you add the path to the image the, the path to the image so it could be a full path for example if you're hosting the image online and you have like a direct link to that file you can just use the link instead if you want to if it's in a folder you can use the um relative path okay so if i wanted to use this image that is in the same directory as this then i will do i will just type in my underscore image dot jpg that's the exact file name if you look at it and then you also take a look at this one. They're the same things. It's in the same directory. So that's fine. And then additionally, you can also add the um, alternative text for the image. So the alt text is what shows whenever the image has not loaded yet. You know, So while the image is trying to load, it shows that alt text to the user. Right? Um, or when it, for readability as well, it shows that alt text. So you would, inside of double quotes, you would say, you would, I would say, I can do server, um, or I can say, woman near servers, something like this, you know, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But yeah, if you're wondering how I got there, so we have this icon inside of Visual Studio Code, every Visual Studio Code should have this icon. I don't believe there's any that doesn't have it. So you click on this and then it will pop up the preview of the readme file. Okay. If I did something here, for example, you see the image is gone. All right. So, um, yeah, so this file, this image name is what shows when the image is not loaded. Okay. And then this one, is the one that sh that shows when the user hovers over the image so for readability this one shows up so i'll just show you can you see woman near servers All right so this is how you will embed an image in a markdown file very simple very straightforward so what if the image was in another folder somewhere very easy uh i'll just add the line break and leave a space make sure to leave another line in between if I start from here let me just copy this and I put this here can you see that there's a difference between line 4 and line 1 the colors are different and you can see now that the image is broken the image is not going to display the reason is that you're supposed to leave a line or some spaces between the brick tag the line break tag and the next content so it's not just images it could be anything it could be a heading it could be uh, a code snippet that you've added it's going to get broken if you do not um if you do not um follow the standard practice okay so it could be a couple of spaces and then the next line like this or you could just go to the next line altogether it works the same all right um so I'll just remove this image. 
So what if the image was in another folder? So I have another image in this images um, folder. So I can expand this, all right? Then here I'll just type in, because it's a relative path. So I'll just do this. And then images and then my image, the JPG. So you see, the image is showing. What if the image was um, on the internet? Maybe something you copied from the internet, you're trying to access like a whole, uh, like an image, you're trying to reference an image that is hosted online somewhere. It's the, still the same. What you need is the full path, the actual URL, the direct URL to that image. So uh, let's just assume that the image was hosted on, um, Google's website on Google's um, server. So I would say HTTPS google.com slash my image dot JPG, something like this. Okay. Of course, the reason this is not showing is because either this image doesn't actually exist or um, Google is not allowing me to reach this image directly. Maybe it, I have to follow like a certain path and all of that stuff, but you get the idea. Just get the full URL of the image and paste it in. So it can be JPEG, it can be PNG, it can be whatever. Um, well, usually you would want to embed JPEGs and PNGs this way. Um, SVGs will be quite different, I perceive. Um, so yeah, this is how you would embed images in a markdown file. Hope this helps.